Hi, Ricky here from Gadget Man Tech News. Today we're going to have a look at the iPhone 5 app wise. Most of all these have been redesigned, so if I just start from the top, of this calendar shows how I'm doing my work for my Gadget Man, but that's all I've got in there really. But it's better, it uses the full screen, and you've got calendars where you can plus and add different calendars from different sources like Google or Hotmail. Messages is nice as well, nice long typeface, better keyboard, and then especially when you put it that way, it's a lot easier as well. Photos, it's location, and then photos. Photos are taken nicely. I'll just show you a photo I've took this a while ago. You can really zoom in and see the texture there. I've been taking small photos outside, comparing the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4S in a little while. And we've got camera, which is a bit of a redesign compared to the actual iPhone 4S. The button's bigger. When you're recording, you can take a video as well, a uh, photo, so I'm just take that there. Video player, there's nothing in there. Maps I've shown. Weather is a little bit different. I just flip across to Ibiza where it's nice and hot. You've got the weather actually here hour by hour instead of pulling down. So that's nice. That's always there, but you can't. It's always there and then it's my hometown. Passbook. It's nice, nothing really working yet, but Apple's actually bringing something in where you have to pay with this in their stores now, if you want to. So actually getting people to use it. Notes are the same. Reminders are a little bit different. You've got the calendar along here at the bottom now. See, that looks quite nice. Uh, clock's the same. Just different bits, alarms, timer, stopwatch and then timer, sorry. Stocks, a little bit different as well, you've got more on it. See how well Apple are doing, $634 per stock, so that's good. You've got the news and then uh, the actual stock market, how it's doing, and then lows and highs of the day. And then we've got bookstore, a uh, newsstand, sorry, nothing in there. Then differences come in the actual music player, as you can see, it's big banners along the top now. Flicker through. You've got videos as well that you can flick through. TV shows as well, so that's good. App stores all changed as well, as you should know by now. So you've got paid, free, and then top grossing. And then game center's changed a bit. A few settings, a um, few different bits and settings. It's all like split into categories now, but it looks better on the iPhone 5, I believe. And just the other apps that have had a few tweaks, but I'm not going to go all through them. Speed test, I'm going to try a speed test. I'm on Wi Fi, so it's going to show my Wi Fi speed test, but we'll try. So I'm getting 14, which is a good solid like line there, you can see. And then about one up, which is good for my YouTube videos. Alright, I'm just going to turn off the Wi Fi and show you. And switch that off. And I'll show you what we get on the Vodafone network. So begin the test. It's only on edge at the moment, which is a problem. Can't really get a good signal, so pings for 446. So it's quite bad already. I'm getting point one ups. So there's no point actually. 
point two up, down, sorry. Not very good. I'll try and get 3G signal so I can show you the difference. So not very good scores there, that's why I use my phone on Wi-Fi around here. And then into the iPhone 5 dedicated apps now where they've all been changed. First of all the App Store. The Apple Store where you can purchase your new iPhone, purchase the new iPad that's due to come out this month we hope. Turn Wi-Fi back on, because otherwise we'll be here all day. There you go. So there you go, you've got a nice big banner of the iPhone 5 up there, then you've got the new iPods, new iPod Shuffle, which I've shown you an unboxing of, so make sure you go and watch that. And all different bits. So it's all been redesigned, and then all different products, categories. My nearest stores, the Harley Quinn Centre in Watford, where I went to the opening. And your basket, when you're there, they can scan it into your phone. You pay with your account, so that's good. So easy pay receipts. So we're going here, and then it's picked up. Sorry, it's picked up my receipt from Milton Keynes when I bought the new iPod. So it's my name. Down here it should say, oh this is where I had my repair done to my iPhone 5, uh, my iPhone 4 sorry, but it shows you receipts all in here. So that's a good one that's been updated. Um, Fruit Ninja which I showed you quickly before, in the letterbox mode there, you can't really see it because it's black on black, but when the game centre comes in, you can see it doesn't look good at all, but all apps are getting updated. And then um, iPhoto as well now, it's nice shaped. You can see your photos, you can edit your photos and that on here. And then down here at the bottom you've got albums, photos, events. And then your, um, where you can make the collages. And then settings in there in the corner. Facebook as well has had a nice redesign. See that, that's my Gadget Man page. So make sure you go and check this out. I've got 11 likes, I need to get up to 20. So I need your help. That shows all the latest news and that I've been doing. And the man free falling from space, which was amazing. So Facebook looks nice. CNN, I can't get that to work here. Oh, there you go. Finally picked up. Last night didn't want to work. It's nice laid out your news. You've got your big stories. So this is this person. There you go. It looks, the screen looks amazing. Colours look deep as well. So what's this bit where he falls? Here you go. So that looks fantastic. Make sure to go and check that out. Temple Run as well. Looks fantastic. That's been updated. Disable. To the bigger screen, you can see more. Still means I'm no good at it, but, but I think the colours look sharper as well on the screen. I've got a fighting one and the Find My iPhone, which I'll show you.
So that looks awesome with that. Make sure you go and check that app out. And then to finish off, it's Find My iPhone. And it's a Find My Devices, the iMac, the iPad, and the iPhone 4S and iPhone 5. I've just put it on there. So there you go, there's all my devices. Let's find my iPad. Click on the iPad. iPad. And you've just got a few features underneath there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.